Today we're going to take a look at one of the best cheap mini PCs you can buy right now. It's the Geekom Mini Air 12. This is a very affordable mini PC. People always complain about mini PCs being expensive, but Geekom have brought you the Air 12. It's got the Intel Order Lake N100, which has four cores and four threads, six megabytes of cache, and clock speeds up to 3.4 gigahertz with a TDP with only six watts. Now this is a 12th gen Alder Lake N100 processor in here, so you have the UHD graphics. It does come pre-installed with Windows 11, and it also has the Wi-Fi 6 capability and Bluetooth 5.2. The drive in this one is an M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 3 uh, SSD. The memory, unfortunately, is only one channel, DDR5 Sodium 4800MT, up to 16 gigabytes can be put into this device. Now this is everything you can get inside the box. You're going to get your power adapter here with a barrel jack connector on the end of it. You're going to get your thank you card. You're going to get your HDMI cable, the mini PC. You're also going to get your user manual, your VESA mount, and also some uh, screws there to mount. Let's take a quick look at the mini PC here. As you can see, quite slimline because it is a lightweight version. There's not much inside here, but we do have our power button. We have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and also a Type-C data only port on there as well. On this side, we do have our SD card reader on there as well. And uh, on the other side, we do have our Kenston lock. So there's some ventilation on the side here. And uh, on the back, we do have that exhaust area. But on the back, we also have our MIDI DP uh, 1.4 port on there, RJ45, which is your one gigabit Ethernet port, USB 3.2 Gen 2 port on there, HDMI 2.0, and also that Type-C port on there as well, and your DC in on the back. Taking a quick look inside here, I'm just going to remove the four screws. And this will give us access to the inside. There is some thermal pad on here for the NVMe slot. So that will keep the drive nice and cool. As you'd expect, this is going to be pretty lightweight, pretty uh, cool to run. And it's not going to get too hot because obviously the power of it. But we do have that Lexor drive in there. And we have that one stick of A data RAM in there. So maximum of 16 gigabytes of RAM on this unit. Also, we can put up to one terabyte uh, drive in here as well that has a 512 gigabyte Lexor drive in here. There's no spare space for extra drives. Now this little device supports up to three displays up to 8K. I'm gonna do some streaming here at 4K to show you that you can stream at 4K with this little cheap budget mini PC. So who would benefit from this mini PC? Well, if you're a light user and you don't use your computer for heavy duty tasks and you want to use this for say, for instance, a bit of Photoshop, a bit of graphic work, or maybe you want to stream some movies or stream uh, YouTube videos like you see here. It will handle 4K streaming on YouTube, no problem at all. I'll run this jellyfish uh, sample here. Now this is quite a heavy duty sample and some of the PCs will struggle to play this file, but this is a 400 Mbps, 4K Ultra HD, HEVC, 10 bit file. And you can see it's playing this file no problem whatsoever. I can even skip this. It will take a split second to catch up and we get the playback again, as you can see here. So pretty impressive to play a file of this caliber because it's quite a difficult file to play. Let's do a quick benchmark on the CPU here. Now it's not the most powerful machine, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the CPU benchmarks are. So single core is 1,206 and the multi-core is 3,057. So another question that comes up is, can these uh, mini PCs run Photoshop? So I'm just going to quickly install GIMP here. And GIMP is very similar to Photoshop. And I had a quick mess around with uh, GIMP here just to see whether the actual mini PC can handle uh, programs like this. And it had no problems at all running uh, photo editing software like this. So I should imagine it would be able to use uh, Photoshop on here. You can see the system resources are not too bad when you've got GIMP open and you're working on it. And I'm pretty sure that it should be fine for most photo editing uh, software that you want to use on here. Now, I know people are going to ask in the comment section, can it play games? Well, I've got the Godoo here, which is a external drive full of retro games. It can play retro games and it can also play some uh, Windows Store games as well. If you wanted to play those types of games on this particular mini PC, as you can see here, it's not having any issues playing these Dreamcast games here. 
So this little device will make a great little retro gaming system if you want to play retro games on them. It's pretty good at this sort of thing. And this is what these little mini PCs are designed for. It's some light work and light use and also some streaming online and playing some video playback. It's not really designed for AAA listed games, but as you can see here, it can handle retro games like this no problem at all. Silky smooth playback on these. So if you like playing this sort of type of games, it's going to be able to handle these and also games in the Windows Store as well. Just give you another little look here at another game you can play. Pretty cool little graphics here for a system of this power. And again, very low power draw on this little mini PC. So if you're looking for something with low power, then this one could be the one for you. I can hear you screaming in the comments, how much does it cost? Well, in the UK, it costs £249. Not sure what it's going to cost in the States, but I'll leave some links in the video description if you are interested in this mini PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.